everyone welcome back to the channel today i want to talk about fragrances that give off that whole boudoir feel classic vintage sophisticated i was inspired to film this video after watching gabby the fragrantician's um recent video she talked about fragrances for cats so the title wasn't fragrances for cats so if you haven't watched that video i'm gonna link it down below in the description box so she talked about one fragrance that i will also be talking about in today's video and she said that you know she could just imagine spring that fragrance in her boudoir and just giving off that very classic vintage beautiful sexy vibe and it was like yes those are the kind of fragrances that i really love those are my i would say um guilty pleasure fragrances i just love spraying them on myself so i'm gonna start off with a very sweet white floral fragrance it's this gorgeous dark juice here this is kayali deja vu white flower this one is jasmine centered it's jasmine and orange blossom but this one has nectarine in the entrance so it gives off that very sweet fruity almost sugary kind of profile to the white florals so this is a modern kind of white floral if you are not really a big fan of white floral fragrances that you find them very mature you can find them very soapy this i suggest you guys to try this one this gives off that boudoir vibe to me because of how sweet it is because of the kind of white florals that are in here they're friendly but they're also very sexy and seductive because of the other notes as well it has that gorgeous vanilla that kayali is very much known for so this is kayali deja vu white flower 57 then this one, Nuit et Confidences by Annie Coutal. This is a vanilla fragrance. It's a smoky kind of vanilla. And the whole bottle itself just gives off like Moulin Rouge with the pom-pom and the color and this like thingy here. So this one has a very noticeable tonka bean and vanilla combination with some incense. So it has some citruses in here as well. It has black pepper, but just imagine that very smoky, almost powdery kind of tonka bean pair with vanilla what makes this one a very sophisticated kind of a vanilla scent is that addition of incense when i smell this when i look at this it just makes me think of dita von Tees. so this is nui at confidences by aniko tal and the fragrance that inspired me to film this video, Gabby was talking about this fragrance this is shalimar souf de parfum this is a more modern take on that Shalimar DNA. It's modern, it's friendlier, so it's not really that classic in terms of scent profile. This is a citrusy white floral vanilla. It has orange blossom, it has jasmine, tons of citruses like bergamot and some mandarin orange in the top, but this has a beautiful base of musk and vanilla. So comparing it to the more classic EDP or EDT Shalimar, this one is more powdery, it's more focus on the white floral so vanilla you get that in the base but this one you get to enjoy the citruses and the white florals in the middle so just looking at this together with nuit et confidences they just look so good together with that gorgeous blue the look of this one and the scent profile just makes me think of a boudoir so Shalimar Souf de Parfum. When I thought of fragrances for this video, they were either like white florals, strong florals, or powdery fragrances. Because when you think of a boudoir, I think of those powder puffs, I think of silk or satin robes and boas or feathers and all of that. So I had to add this beautiful musky powdery scent from Narciso Rodriguez. This one is Narciso Poudre. This one is musk centered it has notes like cedar vetiver it has white florals like jasmine and orange blossom and also bulgarian rose so if you are familiar with the narciso rodriguez dna you guys know that it's all about that powdery fresh musk. this is just one of those bottles that look very pretty in your vanity and in terms of the scent profile this just makes me think of a boudoir because of that powdery musk and that warm cumarin and cedar so this is Narciso Rodriguez, Narciso Pudre. And how can I not include a rose fragrance? This one has rose, it has patchouli, and it has red wine. The whole vibe, the look of the bottle, the scent profile is just giving me Moulin Rouge. This one is Un Rose by Frederic Mal. This is a gorgeous rose fragrance. It is sparkly. 
yes it is a dark rose it can be dry at times it can be that dusty rose depends on the season that you wear this or what time of the year you wear this fragrance but this one has that very sparkly vibe to it it can be a little bit tart as well because of that red wine but this one you guys is just imagine a very dark red velvety rose this is that one so if i could scent moulin rouge this would be it un rose by frederick mal so staying in that whole moulin rouge kind of feel i have this one this was gifted by gabby this is a floral street black lotus this is a warm spicy rose and leather kind of a fragrance this is a very strong scent it has notes like pink pepper and saffron sometimes those two notes can be really over power like the whole scent and that's what happened with this one when i first tested it it was like all saffron all pink pepper and sour cherry but this one in the body it's all about beautiful rose and violet together and it has that leather um note a very strong almost bitter kind of a scent profile in the base so this one just the whole color like a red rose and thinking of leather really makes me think of Moulin Rouge as well and when I thought of fragrances to talk about in this video this was one of my first choices. So I want to talk about this 1970s sheep fragrance. This is aromatic, it's green, mossy, earthy, woody. Everything that I never really thought I would fall in love with but the moment I smelled this one oh my god it was just a rush of beautiful scenery in my head. This is coriander gifted to me by veronica says i love this i've been wanting to try this but i was like i'm not really sure about the notes i mean if you have notes like aldehydes angelica bergamot i love aldehydic fragrances or aldehydes and fragrances but you know having like tons of notes tons of florals like rose ylang ylang jasmine all of that iris and then having oak moss vetiver and civet i was like i didn't have an idea of how this one would smell like but this one to me smells like i don't know like green fluffy clouds can i describe a scent like that green fluffy clouds on a sunny day aromatics herbs all of that gorgeous beautiful amazing coriander this i mean like yeah putting this together with you know nuit confidences and shalimar i love this coriander by how do you say this jean couturier yes now let us go to another fragrance that you know i immediately thought of this one when i when i thought of fragrances that would fit that whole boudoir feel when i talked about this fragrance before i mentioned that it just gives off a very parisian feel it's just like a merge of modern and classic this is a white floral fragrance with leather Cabochard by Grass Parfums, and this is the Cherie Flanker. This, oh my god, this one, it, the, the bottle, yes, it's beautiful. Look at that. Just imagine this one together with Narciso Poudre. Yes, that's gorgeous. This one, it's all about freesia, orange blossom, and Narcissus. So, very strong white florals. They can be powdery, but this one in here, it, it's very soapy almost. But what i also love about this one aside from the white florals that's best represented by this white bow here are notes like pear and bergamot on top and basil basil just adds that spicy green facet to the whole scent and the stars of the show the fragrance notes that really hold this entire scent it's patchouli and leather now leather here isn't the same as the leather in i would say black lotus the leather here is i said it was it's bitter it's dark you know it's that almost like raw leather kind of um vibe i don't know like this one just gives a very gothic feel this one i think of light leather like those genuine leather purses that you know they, it, they it's almost bitter it's almost in that animalic um, kind of scent profile, but it's not because, you know, it's hidden with all those um, fruity notes with all those white florals, but it's there. Like if you don't like leather, you will really get it in here. But combining patchouli and leather together and praline as well. I mean, this is if you love classic vintage -y, you know, kind of fragrances, I really suggest you guys to try this. This is so beautiful. It lasts super long. It also projects. Suggest you guys to try this if you love, you know, vintage smelling fragrances with a modern twist. 
Now, another powdery fragrance. This one is all about Iris Juno Noir by Al Haramain. Another beautiful fragrance. I know this is a known dupe for is it Tama Bianca by Zerjoff. So it's all about iris. It's a powdery floral, but it also has orange blossom. It also has jasmine in here. But it's a very soft kind of scent profile. It's not really advertising. It's not screaming white florals. It's all about powdery, just some softness, feminine kind of feel. That's why I thought of this one as well when I wanted to film this video. Like together with Narciso and Noe at Confidences, this was like an immediate choice. Juno Noir by Al Haramain. This one is Pure Honey by Kim Kardashian, one of her first fragrances. I love the bottle, the cute little bee in there. This one, I don't know, like the honey here, I have to say, it leans almost urine-like. It depends. So anyway, this is all about honey and white florals. I know Kim Kardashian, I think she mentioned that she loves perfume notes like gardenia and also jasmine she loves those in fragrances but this one also has some softer notes i know beeswax honey and freesia and you know orange blossom those can be very sharp they can have very rough edges but this one it also has vanilla and coconut and orchid and i think those are very rounded sort of fragrance notes when it comes to scent profile and those notes just soften this whole scent profile a very sexy fragrance i mean i'm just lucky i don't know like i am the kind of person that you know just like with food i just love all kinds of food and this one it was an immediate yes spraying this i don't know it just makes me think of you know 1940s 1950s and all that even though it's not really a very vintagey scent i know like when we think of vintage um scent profiles or classic scent profiles we think of something like shalimar especially the edp or we think of a lot of aldehydes and a lot of like almost um, very animalic notes. But this one, it gives off a very like homey kind of um, feeling. But it's a modern scent So as this well. is Kim Kardashian's Pure Honey. This one, Rose Anonyme by Atelier Cologne. This is a kind of scent that I would describe as, you know, something very, very sexy. It's super sexy. I don't know why. But every time I smell this, it's just... It just sends shivers down my spine. It's that kind of scent. This has oud, rose, beautiful patchouli in here. But it also has bergamot, benzoin, and ginger. But it's all about the rose in here. I don't know what it is with this scent. But it just sends me to like a different place. And when I thought of fragrances for this video, I knew I had to add this because, you know, like when I think of boudoir fragrances, like... I immediately think of classic fragrances or fragrances that are just super special to me because when I think of a boudoir, like it's your own personal space. So it's a place where you can be yourself and you can wear whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You can put on makeup for a couple of hours, do your hair, um, wear the perfume that you want to wear. And it's just like that safe space, you know? And it's all about sensuality as well and expression and just being true to yourself. And somehow, when I smell this, when I wear this, I just think of all those things. And this last fragrance, I mean, this bottle just belongs in your vanity, like in a boudoir. I mean, like, yes, some may find it kitschy, some may find it, you know, very tacky. But don't be fooled by this whole bottle, this whole look. This is a very unique fragrance and I bought this one because I have just been wanting to try it since forever since I started watching perfume videos and I mean I was very attracted to the bottle as well. This one is an amber florally fragrance but it has a lot of different facets to it. It's sweet, it's smoky, it's powdery but, it, but it's also marine. I mean imagine the notes marshmallow and seawater, tiare flower and gardenia, Incense, amber, and patchouli. Like, who would think of seawater, marshmallow, and incense together? And having strong soapy florals like tiare and gardenia. I can't really describe the scent. I get marshmallow, yes. Like, some sweet powderiness. And you can also get that in notes like tiare and gardenia. But this one, the white florals, I have to say, if you haven't tried this, you want to try this, you want to blind buy it, the florals can lean a little bit indolic. They do lean 
almost like maybe five steps away into the toothbrushy kind of white floral if you know you know yes it's playful it's young it has some sweetness but it means business this one belongs to that independent young woman's boudoir so this is mariah carey's m when it comes to topics like this one where you know you know i'm super inspired to film something to want to talk about you know this specific um, group of fragrances from watching for example gabby's video what happened in here is that you know I, this may not be the kind of scent profiles the kind of fragrances that a lot of people love this isn't really like the mainstream kind of perfume video that people would love but you know this is what this whole channel is all about talking about different fragrances and how fragrances make me feel and how they inspire me in my life and these are my boudoir fragrances so if you have reached this far in the video thank you so much for spending a good i don't know 15 20 minutes watching this video it really means a lot um if you love talking about fragrances and other things i'm trying to film different kinds of content as well um i'm trying to make that work i just don't know how to transition or how to add that to this whole um perfume thing going on but anyway if you want to listen about perfumes you want to learn about perfumes you know feelings when it comes to perfumes i hope you guys subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet and if you like today's video please don't forget to leave a like because it really helps the channel a lot don't forget to watch gabby's video i'm gonna link it down below in the description box and as i always say in every single content have fun much love stay safe and see you in my next video Thank you.